A massive wildfire raging across parts of Western Canada is likely to be that country's most costly natural disaster. Bruce Harrison is live in the studio with me. Uh, Bruce, thousands of homes have been destroyed or damaged. Uh, literally, people's lives gone in overnight. Um, I'm sure there is an, an economic impact from the fire. Yeah, we're just starting to see the starts of that. Uh, the areas hit hardest so far is Fort McMurray. Um, that entire community uh, has been evacuated and it's supported by oil sands. Right now, it's estimated crude production has slowed by about 640,000 barrels a day. That's roughly 16% of Canada's uh, crude production. So uh, what are economists saying about the economic impact from the production slowdown? Well, the hit's definitely going to be noticeable. Economists at the Bank of Nova Scotia told the Washington Post that the wildfires increase the risk of GDP growing very little or not at all this quarter. Uh, the fires aren't directly threatening the oil sands, but many of those workers had to flee the area along with tens of thousands of other residents. The government's taking steps to take care of those people now. Today, I'm pleased to announce that in addition to the Government of Canada providing future assistance through the Disaster Financial Assistance Arrangement, the Government will also be matching individual charitable donations made to the Canadian Red Cross in support of disaster relief. Nine evacuation shelters have been set up in Alberta for the tens of thousands of people fleeing the blaze. They wait patiently while many of their homes burn back in Fort McMurray. We waited so long, we've been here like 1, 8, 1 p.m. and we just got our stuff. Right now it's already 10 or almost 10, so we've waited that long. Because of so many people uh, coming from Fort McMurray, that's why uh, we need to wait for a couple of uh, hours for us to get those uh, stuff and then, uh, you know, uh, just need to be patient to wait for that. Cooler temperatures and a possibility of rain are in the forecast, offering hope it could become easier to control the blaze. Authorities say there have been no known casualties from the fire, but there was a fatal car accident along the evacuation route. 